What's up y'all, Collections here with another video. Today we got my first opening of Shining Treasures EX, the Japanese set which released last December, coming to the US as a part of Paldean Fates uh, in February. This is a super exciting set, a lot of shiny cards, but not just regular shinies, also art rares and special art rares as they're called in Japanese. So let's go ahead and get started. I think with like every other uh, specialty set in Japanese, there's only 10 packs, but each pack comes with not only just like regular cards, but a guaranteed EX card, uh, which is a reprint from one of the other previous sets of the year or one of the English promos that never went to Japan. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Uh, let me unfold this. First time opening a full Japanese booster box too, so it should be super fun to see. Uh, I want to do this video before the English set release just so we can do a comparison when that does happen. Um, but yeah, let's get started. Pack numero uno. Have you guys seen a lot of these openings? Uh, I know that there's like the possibility of god packs and stuff like that, but I haven't been watching too many openings. Uh, I kind of wanted to open it on my own and see how uh, the pull rates look. Let's see what we got. Wiglet, Toxel, Tinka Tink, Weavile Holographic. I think there's a couple of hollows in these packs. Okay, so two hollows, ditto. Oh, okay. So this is a special reverse foil pattern, Superior Energy Retrieval, if I'm remembering correctly. And then, like I was saying, a guaranteed EX, Tinglu EX, and then uh, a couple of uncoms, I believe. Goldengo, I forgot the, it's a something letter. I think this is a new card. This is um, Paldean Students or something along those lines. So yeah, each pack comes with a guaranteed EX card, Tinglu Nars, and one of these specialty reverses. I think this slot is what becomes the um, shiny card if you do pull one. Uh, so yeah, let's see how it goes. But yeah, I guess there is a card trick. I think there was three cards at the end. So let me try putting three from the end to the front. <sighs> that cut was a little sus. I thought I cut into the card just then. That was really scary. Um, but yeah, the Japanese specialty sets are super fun to open. The booster boxes do come with less packs, but uh, in contrast, they do come with like more specialty cards. Doshbund, Penny, Beach Court, Hopip, Lechonk, Grievard, uh, Bax Caliber, Annihilate. <laughs> Ooh, okay, first hit of the box. We got a Shiny Caesar EX. Shiny Caesar is one of my favorite shinies from Gen 2. I really love the green color. I know some people don't really like it, but seeing it in the uh, Scarlet and Violet, the way they textured the Caesar, it was super awesome to see. Uh, let me grab a perfect fit sleeve and we'll sleeve that bad boy right up. I don't think I'll sleeve up every single EX. Uh, actually, maybe I will, um, but yeah, it's super cool. So there's the first hit of the box. Shabam, put him in the back. And here is the Fortress EX, which is the guaranteed EX we got from this pack. All right, pack number three. And from what I've seen um, from like people talking online, I believe you're expected to get around three baby shinies and one like full art card. Um, in Japanese, you're not really, you're, you're guaranteed one full art per box, I think, which counts as like a big hit, but it might not even be like a shiny. It could just be a regular full art. Uh, Florgato, Ponyard, uh, Flittle, Wigglytuff, Dondozo, okay, <laughs> nice, Skip Bloom Reverse, and so for our EX pull of the box, Skeledurge EX in his shiny glory, um, I kind of like this shiny, I know it's not like the biggest change, but that hot pink is actually really nice, uh, and this Skeledurge, I believe, is coming as a part of one of our promo boxes in English, so I'm gonna make sure to pick that up, I'll be trying to get every single product, because, uh, I'm trying to complete a full, promo binder from the Scarlet and Violet block, especially since I've already started and uh, I've already picked up like a lot of them. I think I'll just try and go through the whole thing. But yeah, so pack number three, that was pretty good. Let's see what we got in pack number four. And like I was mentioning earlier, um, briefly, there is a chance for a God pack, which is one where I think every card in the pack is shiny. Um, yeah, that would be super awesome to pull on camera, but I think the pull rates are super low. Bravery Charm. What's his name? Grafaii. Man, it's really testing my knowledge right now. Murkrow, Fue Coco, Sklovit, Raltz, Rapska, Pomo, Pomo? Yeah, Pomo. And this is the pre release promo from our English Scarlet Violet one. Ponyard, Specialty Reverse, Chen Pao EX. And this Chen Pao, I think, is from the uh, EX battle deck we got in English. So that's a new card they haven't had in Japanese yet. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to cutting. I think cutting is like just a lot quicker. It'll be interesting to see um, how the set does in English. I think some people, from what I've heard, are getting a bit burnt out by these um, shiny sets just because we've had so many and they don't really like change it up all too much. But with the introduction of the um, 
special illustrator rare and the illustrator rare versions of them i think it it does give something like interesting to chase as a part of this set vile plume grafii with the specialty hollow and great tusk ex uh, so this is a new great tusk as you can see up here it has the ancient symbol uh, which is something they introduced last set with paradox rift it'll be interesting to see how that goes uh, moving forward i know the new sets coming out in japan with um raging raging bolt walking wake uh iron leaves those guys the specialty paradoxes from scarlet and violet that are like the uh legendary beast and the swords of justice uh they're gonna have a a spec which is like a one uh, card where you're only allowed to have one a spec in the whole deck one that applies to future and one that applies to past so it'll be interesting to see how those cards do and how it'll shake up the meta. Vroom. Ooh, Mute EX from 151. Okay, how many packs do we have left? Four packs left. One baby shiny, one big shiny. Uh, let's see if we can do better than that. I think we're expected like two more baby shinies. So I'm really hoping to pull one more. Um, hopefully we didn't get like scammed. <laughs> I know we didn't. Uh, it was sealed and everything with the pull tab still there. Uh, I can't remember. It's a chest plate of some sort. Link alone. Backs Cal. Uh, Frigibax? Frigibax. Yeah, Frigibax. This we don't have yet. So this is coming out in the set also in our English version. Um, Armor Rouge. Starmer. Ooh! Nice. That's a pretty good one. Palafin. Shiny. And um, Rhydon. Nice. I know Palafin also has a um, illustrator slash art rare in this set. That one looks really cool. If we could pull that, I'd be super happy. Uh, but Palafin's one of my favorites from the new generation. They finally did like a full-on dolphin Pokemon and they made it super, in super interesting too where it uh, changes form after you switch it out. Okay, two or three packs left. Let's see if we can get that last um, shiny, baby shiny that we're looking for. We'll take that three from the back, get into it. Leftovers. Pelipper, this is a, ups no, Paldean Fates promo, I believe, uh, from pre-release. Arvin, Oddish, Abra, Pikachu, Scovillain, Entei. Oh, nice. Flamigo and Alakazam EX from our Alakazam EX promo box. Nice. Interesting. Flamigo. I think the subtlety of the Flamigo shiny is actually really nice. It goes from that really hot pink to like this more muted version, a more realistic looking one. Um, but yeah, for some reason, this box looks like oddly small to me, but I know it's not. I think it's because it's a normal type, so it's like a white box. Um, but yeah, I love the way they texture these in Japanese for this set. Super, super awesome. Um, but yeah, so I think this is what we expect from most boxes. Three baby shinies, a bunch of regular EXs, and a full art of some sorts. Um, luckily, yeah, it was one that I actually liked. Because Skeledurge is my favorite of the three stars. As you can see from my little Fui Coco sitting up there. Um, yeah, so we got two packs left actually. Uh, let's see what we got. Okay, uh, sorry. Three from the back. Cleffa, Obsidian Flames promo in English. This is a new one. This is, I don't know if they call it Director Clavel or Clive, but that's Director Clavel from the games. Flamigo, Relor, Crocolore, Slowpoke, Raichu Hollow, Arboliva, Primeape with this special reverse pattern, Skeletor GX. Okay, last pack of the box. Um, let's see what we got. God pack, guys. Come on. God pack, you know. God pack. God pack. Not a god pack. I don't know, it's fine. The odds are super low, anyways. Reversal energy. Lightning generator. Electric generator, sorry. Cyclozar. Uh, Gimme Ghoul. Small Live. Jigglypuff. Luxury. Holographic. Gita. Holographic. Flamigo. With the reverse holo pattern. And Gardevoir EX. The uh, best deck in format, right there. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this box. Honestly, pretty good. My first time opening one of these shiny boxes in Japanese, but I think the pattern looks really nice on these baby shinies. And the uh, huge full art shiny also looks super awesome. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for checking out the channel. I really appreciate it. I think we just recently hit a thousand subscribers, so I'll be doing a giveaway sometime soon. Uh, probably might be one of these boxes. We will see. But yeah, stay tuned. Uh, I'll make updates in the coming weeks. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to check out another video. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time. Thanks so much.